hello friends welcome to my channel and let's uh, start the tutorial uh, i have a core i5 version 8 gb and 256 gb uh, model of surface pro 3 uh, this is attached uh, pro 4 keyboard so first step let's set up your pro 3 uh, yeah follow the instructions uh, first press the power button as well as the volume up button together and just wait for it to boot yeah keep it pressed till this page comes this is the bias setup now you have to i have already set it up so what you have to do is uh, this tpm has to be switched off secure boot control this is must this is the main step which has to be disabled then uh, in boot order you have to select usb first then your ssd exit the setup yeah yes so once it's done we are ready to install so first i'll tell you what errors i had during uh, installation of remix os so avoid the same errors uh, so that you get don't get stuck in the process yeah uh, so first i was uh, trying to do is uh, installing through the remix os installation tool but uh, i was successful uh, with this process in hp uh, elite x2 but in this case it just hung up there was nothing no progress so i had i was waiting for like 10 minutes 5 minutes nothing happened so then i had to uh, change my strategy and i uh, looked up uh, a lot of tutorials then what i found is uh, you have to make a bootable usb drive directly installation onto the ssd uh, doesn't work in surface pro 3 i don't know why uh, i'll see to it again if i can uh, be successful later Uh, then what i uh, what mistake i uh, did was i was trying to unzip through 7-zip uh, the iso file onto the usb drive this i was successful when i tried to uh, install uh, windows 10 uh, to format the surface surface pro 3 but in this case it just didn't happen there was some small error either in the file just see that yeah i selected uh, yes to all but still uh, there was some error and the uh, usb was not bootable mind you this is a usb uh, 2.0 uh, drive that i'm using here you'll be better off if you use a uh, 3.0 which is advisable so then i downloaded the rufus rufus is a software free software that you can use to flash a iso file onto a uh, usb pen drive yeah i'll put a link down so once rufus you have downloaded it is a very small file hardly uh, 918 kilobytes so once you download just select the iso file uh, keep the uh, format version as fat32 remember that don't make it ntfs or anything fat32 is the version which will be detectable when the uh, usb drive is being used as a bootable drive yeah just wait it's installed it's too bright to see sorry for that yeah i selected fat32 version change the drive to the usb drive now you have to select the iso file iso file has to be selected from the right side corner one yeah, this one so now select the remix os iso file here okay now it will start to install the files onto the usb drive so that it is bootable take some time i'll pause the video uh, in between yeah now it's done i'll just open the drive and show you whether the files are there or not yeah this is android x86 yeah you can see all the files are there without any errors so i have to go back shut down the system
once it's set down uh, you confirmed yeah now it's set down so uh, just switch it on now since we have already set up as USB as the first boot device so I guess it should select the USB as a first device yeah and one more thing uh, again I had an error in this thing yeah, once you see what happened is the resident mode and guest mode the resident mode is the mode which is preferable uh, because you want your apps and uh, whatever you download to save it but in guest mode nothing like that happens uh, so I selected the resident mode and let it boot but it took so long I waited for around 15-20 minutes nothing happened there was a splash screen of remix OS and it stayed on the screen I'll show you now yeah so it goes into that yeah you can see uh, it's writing something then yeah this plus screen stays there for a long time you can see nothing happens uh, maybe next time I'll use a USB 3.0 drive and check my luck okay so next what I did is uh, I selected the guest mode now you can see I'll go ahead yeah, guest mode uh, for this to do you have to connect the uh, keyboard if you don't have a keyboard then most probably this doesn't this tape doesn't go further because uh, in the BIOS setup you saw that touch screen is, was working but in this screen uh, touch screen won't work so if you don't have a keyboard you can get a USB uh, keyboard which is quite cheap yeah so I selected the guest mode keep praying that it works take some time yeah if uh, remix os is bo boots up uh, in a surface pro 3 then this will be awesome actually uh, i have a hp elite x2 but the thing is uh, the stack wow it started the stylus in that thing doesn't work so I will just check with whether this stylus works oh awesome you see that it works so I can use my OneNote and everything with this Android I'll just see that uh, next in my next video I'll try to make it a permanent setup so that I can dual boot both Windows 10 and Remix OS so they can use the Android apps whenever necessary because my go-to device right now is my HP Elite X2 uh, this Pro 3 was there but I was not using it because uh, I am adapted to that one it has a long battery life as well as Remix OS is just stable very stable on that but this also looks really good I just see the touch screen yeah it's working excellent I'll see then okay we will go to this page and uh, deselect all the apps I don't want any apps to download okay I'll just remove all the apps that was supposed to be downloaded because most of the apps I don't want okay I'll just go into the setup page next yeah none of the apps are selected I'll go to the next page yeah, yeah setup is complete thank god stylus works that's a great thing and now I'll check whether the Wi-Fi works or not without Wi-Fi basically uh, it's dud see you can see a guest mode written over here top part yeah so touchscreen also works I'll just first thing you have to do is uh, most people don't say that 
since this is a very high resolution screen you have to change the zoom level which is already given by uh, remix os in a experimental features tab you just have to make it 1.5 times the size it basically changes the dpi but uh, again you have to uh, go into the grub.cfg file and then uh, change in a notepad notepad that is really irritating but they have simplified really simplified so you can see the icons are bigger now yeah you can see all the size is bigger now everything works you see the usb drive is also being detected i'll just check uh, whether uh, i'll activate the play uh, google play services first uh, it's saying your network please check in okay just go into the networks wait a minute i have already given the password let me see whether it connects or not yeah connected now let me activate the google play services yes done okay now i'll just go into the play store i'll give my info Uh, account. I'll add my account, and then I'll see whether I can download and play some games or not, so that I can know whether it is really usable or not. So, what game to download? I'll just check out the small game. Okay, the games folder. I'll directly go into the games folder. Yeah, I'll go for a subway surfer. Uh, this is some sixty or seventy MB. So let it start downloading. Yeah, it's installing now. My net is not as fast as uh, you people have, but it's okay. I'll just pause it here. Yeah, now it's downloaded. Now let's see whether it is playing smoothly or not. Okay. I'll make it a full screen. and rotate the screen okay i'll detach cover and see okay this doesn't work okay so rotation sensor doesn't work same as my hp elite i have a, a procedure for that also okay screen is really smooth no issues i'll just go into a smaller screen and see whether it is playable yeah in the smaller screen no so rotation issues are there that i will Uh, there's some software is there rotation control software is there we can put it again okay, i'll tap to play okay let's see but the screen is really smooth or not yeah it's very smooth it's buttery right now no lags nothing okay i don't play a lot of games sorry <laughs> yeah it works ipe okay that's it So it works. Stylus works. Wi-Fi works. Touchscreen works. What else do you need? Really, congrats to the Remix OS team for putting this great OS. If you like my video, please subscribe to me. Thank you. Goodbye.